Listen up fives, a 10 is speaking. It was a 30 rock reference. Mm, we're in the kitchen, we're having fun. This is great. Is there anything I need to say? Do I have to alert the audience of anything? Because it's so intense, it's a chicken. I can't go back. Hi y'all, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni, and today we're gonna be making a beautiful buttermilk roast chicken. My dears, my dears, my dears, as always, absolutely roast that like button. Sear it, fry it, bake it, broil it. This recipe was created by Samin Nosrat. It is a beautiful bee bee. It is a beautiful beginner bird. Cooking a whole bird can be very daunting, especially if you've never done it before. It is so easy for chicken to come out dry. It's really easy for it to come out raw. There's a lot of things that could go wrong with it. And because it's a whole damn bird, if you ruin it, the whole thing is useless. It's not useless though, you don't throw it out. Like that's dishonest. Like I wouldn't just throw out a whole bird. But this recipe is so wonderful because it makes a lot of room for error. It's just salt and buttermilk and chicken. That's three things and it comes out absolutely chef's kiss. That's how it comes out. It's that good. It is that easy. You just throw it in the oven and then you sit your little butt down and do whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our beautiful chicken presenter hands. First step, take out those giblets. Reach your hand in that, in that cavity and pull them out. I like to set them aside because you make chicken stock out of them. So take the bag out, set it aside, then stick your hand in there and make sure there's nothing else. Sometimes there's gonna be a little extra surprise in there. The last thing you want is a roast chicken with a plastic bag inside of it. I give it a little interior massage. <laughs> Let's salt the thing. Very generous. You want it all over. Get it in between those little pockets, the little chicken armpits. Everything has to be well seasoned. I'm gonna sprinkle some inside. Season it really throughout. I want it to get everywhere. We're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. What's gonna happen is that the salt is going to absorb into the meat. It's literally gonna dissolve and then penetrate through the proteins. So eventually we won't have salt on the outside, it'll be inside the actual chicken. Okay, beautiful. So we've let our little baby birdie sit for 30 minutes. A lot of the salt is kind of dissolved and absorbed. It's being worked into those protein strands. Now, it's time for our buttermilk marinade topper. We're gonna do four tablespoons of this sea salt. Oh, it's like clumpy. It's real thick because it's cold. So our buttermilk, you just pour it over, rub it in every little crevice, every little crease. Get it in there, in this cavity. Make sure it's gonna be fully, fully submerged and marinated. <laughs> yeah, that's what it felt like. <laughs> Beautiful, we've submerged our baby birdie in a little bath and now we're going to take our cling wrap and we are going to struggle through opening it again. Jesus Christ, what is wrong with, why is it like every time the camera's on, I can't take cling wrap off of the roll. Gorgeous. This is gonna sit for a total of 24 hours in the refrigerator. Halfway through this marinating process, I'm gonna go in and flip the bird so it gets equal sort of buttermilk, buttery bath treatment. Um, yeah, so we'll throw our little BB, our little baby bird in its buttermilk bath into the refrigerator. <laughs> there was so many bees in a row. Alliteration station, choo-choo all aboard. Cut. Welcome back, everyone. Too loud. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everyone. She talks about Thanksgiving and when you pull out a turkey, why so many people's turkeys come out raw is because they didn't let them come to room temperature. So what we're doing, as prescribed by Mommy Samin, is we've let this come down to room temperature, now it is ready to cook. And it will cook evenly all the way through. <laughs> Here we are. We don't need any of this buttermilk, but wipe as much as you can off. All right, so we're gonna take our fan and we're gonna wrap it tightly and get it ready for the oven. Next step is to trust the bird. What we're gonna do is take these legs and we will wrap them up. The goal of this is to get all the meat tucked in as close as possible to the body. That way it's one big mass and it cooks as evenly as possible. We're gonna take our bird, 
and transfer it over to a cast iron pan. Let's do it this way. That way when we put the bird in the oven, the legs will be facing the back. So we've let the chicken sit for 20 minutes. Next step is reduce the temperature from 425 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll let that sit there for 10 more minutes. Oh, I can't believe I never showed you my chicken impression. Was that okay? So something Simi Nostrat taught me is that the back of the oven is always hotter than the front of the oven because every time you open the door, heat escapes. So in this case, when the chicken legs take longer to cook, take the legs, which are facing the back left corner of the oven, and shift it over to the back right corner of the oven. That way, we get even browning on both sides, we move things around. Beautiful work. Let it sit in that little corner. Next, we wait about 30 minutes. This will vary depending on the kind of oven you have and the weight of the chicken you have. So keep an eye on it, make sure it's browning at the right rate. As soon as it's done, pull it out. Alrighty, it's been about 30 minutes. Our BB, or beautiful bird, is brown a little faster than expected, so let's pull it out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Oh God, that's beautiful. So now that we've pulled this out of the oven, it's important that for about 10, 15 minutes, we let it rest at room temperature. The proteins and the muscle fibers will recontract. If we cut it right now, there's a way bigger chance that this meat will be dry. But if we let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes, the juices will recirculate throughout the meat. It will really retain its moisture much better if we let it rest. So everything left here, I'm gonna take and use for chicken stock. And here's our gorgeous carved up plate of chicken. Oh my goodness, look at this. I like don't wanna touch it, it's so pretty. Mm. I'm just at a loss for words. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely delicious. The timing on pulling out that chicken was impeccable. The skin is flavored so beautifully. It's seasoned throughout. It's so moist. Oh my goodness. I cannot talk enough in volumes about how good this tastes. Jesus, holy moly. It was so easy. It was so easy to make this. It's insane. Mm. If you're afraid to make roast chicken, give this a shot. I promise this will teach you. You can do a lot more than you think you can. Drop a few comments below. Let me know if you feel inspired, excited, or terrified, whatever it may be. Hit that notification bell and make sure to subscribe. Ladies, as always, my name is Yanni and thank you for watching Flambe. I felt like Moira Rose jumped out this time. To my most distinguished audience, I may prefer to have servants do the work for me, but sometimes one must take life into their own hands. <laughs> Alexis, she's like, ah, da, da. Alexis, David.